Hola! Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. This is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, how you doing? I'm Mocha. Um, I'm not going to be doing any tarot um, on this video. This is just general. I tell y'all I want to come in and holler at y'all and chat with y'all and you know, just spread some of this beautiful love and light. I got outside and was like, oh, bitch, you popping. <laughs> Neither here nor there, though. Y'all know I'm a little extra, like, new wave extra. <laughs> but I love y'all. Um, the reason why I'm making this video, um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other readers agree. Um, some of them ain't gonna like me for this, but who gonna pop me? <laughs> nobody <laughs> so um i'm making this video um and this is for really everybody um ultimately i get a lot of personal reads and i'm pretty sure other readers do as well and in those personal reads let me first and foremost tell y'all y'all don't trust everybody energy don't trust just like you wouldn't trust everybody to pray for you don't trust everybody to read for you just because somebody for some people I get this a lot during personal review. If you ever had a personal reading with me, please share this testimony, okay? Um, but when I do personal reading, sometimes I know y'all may pay for a 15 minute, a 30 minute, you know. Not to say that people would try to get over on Mocha, but Mocha definitely knows when I'm on the phone for more than 30 minutes to 15 minutes. However, my ultimate goal is not just to do your reading. My goal is to make sure that you actually learn something from it, that you took something from it, that you're going to grow. That's my goal. That's my life purpose. That's what I came here. I signed a contract with God to come here to do. So yeah, you know, financially it does help. That's how I pay my bills, but my blessings come from God. You get what I'm saying? And who it is that he appoints to give them to me here on this earth. It's up to me to open my heart to receive them and just like everybody else. Okay. But I will say, when y'all go into these different readers, if you got a reading with me, okay, if if me and two other readers on damn YouTube told you the same shit, why would you go and go book seven readings later on this week to know the same shit for clarity? Do you, y'all trusting these people with y'all information, however, do you trust their spirits? I mean, really, 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 when these people are reading for y'all, what does you, what is it that, what is that feeling that you feel in your stomach? Like, what, what? How do you fully know, like, how do you really know that you're being guided in the right direction or for that matter that these people even give a damn about if you ultimately got, you know what I'm saying, got the purpose, like, you got, you got, you know what I'm saying, your fulfillment from the shit, you get what I'm saying? Y'all, it, it pains me and it really makes me mad as hell when y'all come to me and, you know, I'm reading and, and unfortunately I tell anybody, if you're going to book a, a reading with Mocha, really be open to knowing the the real live truth about your, the, the other person and your damn self because i'm gonna tell you that cutthroat what it is it's truthful you get what i'm saying i'm gonna give you what god love and that's the truth you get what i'm saying however when y'all come and y'all tell me oh well this other lady told me you know that i'm fine and that uh, the other person is I'm, I'm doing better than them or i'm moving at a pace that's better than them why the fuck would somebody even play with your soul like that and gamble on the fucking competition like it's a motherfucking horse race or some shit? Who does that? I mean, come on, y'all. Common sense is truly a gift. But, y'all, you never know where you're going to be tomorrow. Don't be just out here just giving your money away and just trusting these people's spirits, especially when these people, some of these people on YouTube, they can have 100,000 fucking subscribers. I don't give a damn. Half of their spirits, a lot of these people is chaotic. They got chaotic ass spirits. What energy did they bring to your reading? How about ask questions? Who you worship? Who you pray to? Okay? What's your intentions? What is your... Get, get to know... Because see, when I do readings with y'all, if you've ever had a reading with me, you know, I don't just jump into my reading because I'm going to tell you the truth. Fuck that money. If your energy is fucked up, I will not read them cards for you. Nor why I sit on that phone. If that energy is fucked up, baby, when you send me that email and I feel something off of it, baby, I'm going to be like, look here, I can't, I can't, I've turned down readings as well. I can't, I can't do your reading. And it's nothing personal. It's just, I'm not judging. I'm not a judgmental person. But if you fucked up, I don't want you in my energy and, and I don't want any of yours. You get what I'm saying? Like, these people who are reading for y'all. Always, 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 always. Don't just watch your sign. Watch other signs. When they say they're having a bad, what you feel? Like, what do you, what do you, this is your journey. 
don't interest in someone else so much that you lose sight of your journey. You get what I'm saying? I can't really give a damn about who don't like what Miss Mocha got to say. Who don't I don't I don't care. I don't care about that at all. What I do care about is your soul. It's evolution. That I sow my seeds and that my purpose is fulfilled with expansion in your heart. And you opening that and you communicating the right way to get to your higher self. That is my purpose. So my purpose is gonna be to shine my light towards you and your movement on your journey. So if it's some shit that you need to fix with yourself, Mocha will tell you, Oh baby, you controlling this fuck. You need to work on patience. You need to let that shit go and understand that God not gonna put a jewel with a rock. You need to understand that you need to talk to your husband and don't come for me with no personal reading when you're not communicating in your own home. I don't need these cards to read y'all, which is why I don't mind turning down no damn reading. Because I'm not open to everybody's energy because everybody's energy is not coming from a loving space. Some people just on the phone with you for 10 minutes and they're going to answer your questions. But after that 10 minutes rolled off, after that 25 minutes is gone, after that 30 minutes, baby, they don't give a damn. They won't even remember nothing about you. I take shout after the fact. You get what I'm saying? So I just feel like watch who you entrust with your energy on your journey. It's your journey. Can't nobody, can't nobody fix shit when he's fucked up but you. Can't nobody move mountains in your life but you. But if you ain't trusting in the motherfucker who only wants your money and they don't give a damn about you, you're going to get all kind of shit. Y'all stop getting six readings a day to get clarity. God is still free. The clarity lives within you. But if you're not going to trust, if you, if you find yourself getting 89 fucking readings in two and three days, it's something wrong with that, sis. You could be addicted to tarot. You could have control fucking issues because you want to control some shit and know how it go and what somebody else told you just wasn't good enough. I mean, because some of y'all really be having these issues and I love y'all to death, y'all my family, but, and we are not perfect and I'm not judging, but I give a damn about the guidance that y'all getting because when I have to do these readings and I'm hearing, oh, but the other lady told me this and she told me that and she, but she didn't tell you that you had to work on your damn self. She didn't tell you that. So you pay sixty, seventy dollars for her to tell you some bullshit. Oh, okay, sis. And I'm an empath, so I get a little angry at these other people because I know, you know, that's fucked up. Like you really should have, you should have had that help a long time ago if you're paying for all these damn readings. And I mean, I'm being honest, you know. So I feel like some of y'all gotta check yourselves when it comes to. Just being accepting to these other people's fucking energy in your bubble. You don't. Your bubble is your sacred space. Your bubble consists of your past, your present, your future pains, your lessons, your blessings. That is your space. That is your bubble of experience and wisdom that you built. And you let these people into your bubble because they need forty, fifty dollars for twenty, thirty minutes, and they tell you shit that can't expand your bubble. As a matter of fact, you be sitting Indian style fucked up in your feelings about why well, I know this person treat me like shit. How the fuck she gonna say I'm gonna be with them forever? Like I, it, it, no, that's y'all. Come on, we gotta do better. We gotta grow. We gotta glow. We gotta do better. We gotta do better. I could give a fuck about if I had a hundred thousand fucking a hundred thousand fucking uh viewers on YouTube or, or subscribers if I lose sight. Of the whole mission that I came here for. Trust and believe you me. All money ain't good money. And if y'all energy fucked up. I don't want it. And you should feel the same way about me and everybody else. Who you entrust to read your shit. Fill out with energy out. You get what I'm saying? Don't just. And I'm including myself. Because I know I'm genuine. You get what I'm saying? But that's still. I'm, this is your journey. It's up to you to discern that. God gave everybody the gift of discernment. You get what I'm saying? What do you feel? When these people is telling you, oh, this shit, if you feel a little warm, feel a little tight feeling in your stomach, somebody, chances are somebody told you some bullshit and your soul knows it, okay? So don't just be entrusting in these people, you know, to just dig in your energy. And I know I might get some clap back. I might get some 
some shit. Just don't come for me. Y'all know I'm don't be don't just don't be as long as you be cool, I'ma be easy. But don't come disrespectful because I bite back. And I'm going to write y'all now. I'm petty. I'm going to write your name down on the sheet of paper and I'm going to give your ass a shout out. If you want to be famous on my channel for telling you some shit because I love you, try me. <clears throat> try me. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I'll be an asshole, baby. Yeah, I'm going to be an asshole. You understand? Because I, I, I move with balance. <clears throat> I am loving life. But even God himself is, a, is, is balanced between the, the darkness and the light. So the balance me will cuss your motherfucking ass out and still love you tomorrow. Love you a long time. You understand? So I love you very much. It's really all I really had to say. I'm out here in Houston, Texas, honey. It is beautiful out here. I had to come and sit at the park like, yes, I'm finna go hug me some trees. And y'all go hug you some trees. Aries, go hug some trees. See what that brings to your life. Go look it up. Hug some trees. Hug a tree. Stand barefooted in the grass today. Go get your life. Get your meditation popping. Okay? I love y'all. Till next time I decide to talk some shit. Next time I'm going to go live. I'm just at the park and I ain't got no Wi-Fi. So I had to upload this one. But y'all like, share, subscribe, and comment. And comment that shit. Comment how you feel. I want to be able to. This is my way of connecting with everyone. You know, and... I know I'm always making videos. I might love your post because I love your comment because I got a bunch of freaking comments coming. It's 12 signs. A bunch of comments coming. So, you know, that was just I just want to make sure I always get to everybody because y'all family. I don't want to leave nobody feeling left out. I don't love nobody more than the other one. I love all y'all equal. You know, and so because of that, you know, I know a lot of people often have religious questions. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. So some people often have questions. Um regarding you know balance and things of that nature some people have uh questions some people even would like to maybe chime in and add to what i'm saying you know just to kind of enlighten the family we all family comment how you feel you never know how the next person grows from that maybe somebody needs to hear this shit because i felt it in my spirit i don't even know what made me come i told my twin earlier today i just feel it in my soul to go to youtube and talk to them about trusting everybody's energy because right now with us moving through these dark phases of the moon i ain't gonna lie to you neptune is an illusionist and if people is not grounding themselves even readers if they're not grounding themselves and really able to be not in one particular box or spectrum that into that the intuitive side of them that intuition can be shifted a little bit check it out don't believe me google is free <laughs> go check it out so watch who you let and dig and delve into your energy okay Cause they might leave some shit that you ain't that you ain't come with before, and you don't need it. If you already coming to a reading for some shit yourself, just think about it. I'm I'm really bringing this to you because it was truly deeply in my heart. I tried to ignore it and just go about my day, but God was like, no. Before you hug them damn trees, tell my people this because they I need them to know because a lot of y'all are not using y'all discernment. Know when somebody just wants your funds. And somebody genuinely cares for you. Be able to try to truly discern the difference. Before y'all book readings with these people, pray. See what God leads your heart. Real shit. I love y'all people. Please come in how you feel. You know, let me know. You know, even if it's just an experience. Or I went to another reading. And this, 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 this. I mean, like, really share with our brothers, our sisters, you know, of the, of the soul, nigga. Like, share Share your experiences, share, because it's a lot of people that's coming into tarot, and they just trusting everybody because we in the same community thinking everybody ain't got ill will intentions. If somebody else is fucked up, they can't help you get out of fucked upness, okay? Know that. I ain't gonna keep running my mouth for too long. It's already, we already 14 damn minutes in, but I love y'all, my babies. I'm open for personal readings, but still, watch my shit. Watch your sun, moon, and rising. Hell, I might have been having a shifty day that day. Even though I meditate and everything before I even come to them readings, I always make sure I'm right. Well, I ain't gonna lie. If the reason why I used to be late in the past is because I my energy wasn't my energy's not right, I'm not coming to YouTube. I'm not sharing that with anybody. I'm only going live uploading when my energy's right. If it's not right, that shit's dead. I'm not gonna bring that to you. Cause I love you that much. Y'all comment. Because I know this is going to be an interesting post. Love y'all babies. Peace, love, and hair grease. They still say that shit. Hell no, nah, but I'm original, baby. Hey. <laughs>